So we're asked to reflect uh, shape P in the line X equals minus 1. Well, we need to draw that line first of all. So let's draw it. X equals minus 1 uh, is all the values for which X is minus 1. And so it's this vertical line here. Let's just straighten that up. So that is the line X equals minus 1. OK, and then we just use that as a mirror. So where does this point go? Well, it reflects straight through the mirror uh, in exactly the same distance out the other side. And I could just draw my thing backwards now. In fact, I'll probably do that. I'll just do the other point at the top. Um, that goes 5 to the mirror and therefore 5 out the other side. And that is the basis of my reflection. So let's just draw this in. It's going to be the same height. These are both four high, are they not? And it's back to front, as things in a mirror tend to be. And it is exactly the same distance, uh, one side of the mirror to the other side of the mirror. OK, and that's how you reflect. OK, there's another part. Part B, rotate the shape P 90 degrees anticlockwise about 0, 1. Well, Anticlockwise is this way. Look at your watch, or if you've got a smartwatch, put it on the right setting so that it's got a watch face. Anticlockwise is the other way. Now, I could draw a circle here, or I could just go, well, I need to rotate that line through 90 degrees, and I can see very clearly that it's going to be that. And that's usually easier than drawing a circle. Now, what do I have to do? I have to put this shape on its side. So it's going to be four uh, long there. And then there's the next side and so on. And I just draw it really. I can use tracing paper. Uh, that works too for some people. Or I can just do it. And I've just done it.